Hey everybody, it's Keith. I'm back, and surprise, surprise, another- I'm playing another game where you, I get to beat fantasy creatures to death with a sword. Shocker. I believe that a handsome man might be our protagonist. What? What is happening? Oh god, his face. I'm so sorry. Alright, settings are all sorted through, so let's find out what we're in for. And right off the bat, they're trying to advertise DLC. Guys, this game's been out for literally hours. Just chill for a few minutes. But that's fine. Alright, so we have a few extra features here, which I believe are unique to DLC of some sort. So I, I can play as a Dark Ranger if I want to. The difference is not significant. Definitely more more full armor looking unless like I'm have scrappy ripped apart stuff but uh I'm gonna stick with default for now let's get this started in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie it was here on the slopes of Mount Doom that the Dark Lord Sauron was defeated by a last alliance of men and elves it is here that for two and a half thousand years, the rangers of Gondor stood watch, guarding against a nameless threat they had all but forgotten. And while the strength of Gondor faded, the power and the malice of Sauron grew in darkness. He has returned to Mordor. Shadow and flame have fallen on the Black Gate. And no mortal man can stand in its path. a perfect swing for killing chicken. Wouldn't want to hurt you. It'll take a lot more than that. <laughs> Dear Hyle, the mighty chicken killer. Come on. Come on. Show your father what you have, huh? Okay. So we're doing this now. <laughs> Very abrupt turnover to this. Harder if you want to best your father. Ow. Rude, you ran behind me. Okay, why is Triangle doesn't appear to be there we go. Not enough. Something about the timing didn't seem to be working out for me, but I think I got this. Don't forget to block. Perhaps you should not forget to hit. Stay alert, dear Hire. Your enemy will not always be as he appears. So is my son dead yet? <laughs> Easy son. You're not a soldier yet. I'll have your guts. I'm all right. Okay, so grand execution. You hold right trigger and mash the square button. That was a awkward attempt at tackling. There we go. Okay. There's a lot of prompts happening on screen right now, and they're very detailed. Like, maybe too detailed. There's a lot of reading to do in, in the action of things. Okay, let's do a ground execution. Hope you didn't like that jugular of yours. I've always figured that the throat was a, was a rather optional part of a, an orc's anatomy. 
Hey, bro. Oh, I apparently failed to tackle him. There we go. Enjoy not being alive. Oh, failed dodge. A lot of rain going on right now. A lot of things to process. Let's just tackle this guy. There we go. I am, I've clearly forgotten how to uh, execute him. I keep throwing them instead. Which is a much less effective way of dealing with an incoming attacker. So, so far I'm getting a very Assassin's Creed vibe from this feeling. Shit. I'm trying to execute your friend, buddy. Just give me a second. You gotta fight me one at a time. That's only fair, right? <laughs> it's only a matter of life and death. No big deal. They doing all right over there? All right. That's graceful. I'm very proud of you, game. <sighs> These orcs are much stronger than any we've ever seen. They're not orcs, they're orcs. They're far worse. There's too many. Go find your mother. Go find your mother. Keep her safe. I'll be right behind you. Go. Am I dead? You are banished from death. seem to be struggling with time a little bit here. <laughs> Lots of sort of non-linear, like, Tarantino-style crossing around. Well, let's go pursue her with some flowers, apparently. Don't mind, don't mind me, just covered in weapons. This isn't creepy. another golden age with pressure. <laughs> Happy anniversary, my love. Alien, this is beautiful. Where did you find it? I still have a few friends left in Gondor. Did you talk to my father? Yes, I did. And nothing has changed. He's still very stubborn. I say we go anyway. The I will not come willingly. There must be a better life than this. Not now. But soon. I'm just so tired of hiding here, Talion. We must hide now, or we are both dead. Come on. We should have left when we had the chance. Don't move. I'll clear a path. I'm outnumbered. Stealth is my only advantage. I feel like the tension has broken down a little bit by knowing that we're about to just freaking... that she's about to die. Now I'm gonna get banished from death. Are they green? I don't remember orcs being straight up green in Lord of the Rings. I thought they were more gray. Oh well. What's up, bro? Hope you didn't mind that kidney. It's cool, you got two of them, right? before the other one turns around. Hey, bro. Surprise. Oh, my God. I went into his head. I feel like it would have been hard to pull back out. This character has Herculean strength, or orcs have very weak bones. Oh, God. Put the sword down, Ranger. Take her! He will leave. 
What has happened to me? You are banished from death. Cast adrift between the worlds of light and dark. Curse binds us together within the walls of Arda. If what you say is true, then how do we break this curse? We find the one who cast it on us. The Black Hand of Sauron. Well, we got started off very quickly, didn't we? Just caught me off guard a little bit. By video game standards, it's actually a decent story intro, but I'm used to more the idea of, you know, a more prolonged intro. Oh, his hair moved. That means we're done loading. <laughs> I'm surprised there wasn't some sort of prologue or something where you hang out with your peaceful family before they get all slaughtered. But I guess, here we go. <laughs> Hit R1 to reforge. Well, that was easy. Ooh, fast travel unlocked. I unlocked fast travel before I unlocked normal travel. <laughs> I haven't even, in, I've never even seen an environment yet to walk around in really, but I already have fast travel. It's not really an unlock if you start the game with it, is it? This unlocks new missions, collectible locations of, on the map, and Mirian. Okay, interesting. So hold X and move forward to jump off the ledge. Sick. Don't mind me, I'm just a ghost. Oh. So, we missed one of you at Narcos, eh? An easy mistake to fix. I very abruptly became this guy instead of the... Oh. So we're like a symbiotic sort of thing. I get both characters at once. This is interesting. So we're gonna charge my shot and smack some fools out. Let's go over the head. There you go. You don't need those precious brains, do you? I didn't think so. It's cool. Oh god, it's coming at me. It's coming at me. Okay. Uh, oh. I was not able to quite get out of the way, the way as the way I thought I would. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to the controls. So I haven't gotten a lot of uh, opportunity to really. Oh, cool! I can shoot him with weird magic. Oh, jeez, that's fun. And another awkward ragdoll. Twice in 20 minutes, we get a really awkward ragdoll. Who's this fucking fish man over here? Go 
back to me. Go back to who? Who am I going back to? Oh, the guy I just knocked out. Oh, well, we're gonna have some fun then. Hello, buddy. Do you want to answer questions? What do you know of the Black Hand of Sauron? He is a fiend. Made of thin air. What more? A slave I had. Swears he fought him. I sold him for a cake of grog to Gimu the Slaver. Ooh, so this is going to be the Nemesis system. The much touted, like, most heavily advertised thing about this entire game is that there's a Nemesis system where as you encounter various parts of Sauron's army, uh, you have different impacts on them. Some people might survive and run away and they'll be, or they'll get, or maybe they'll kill you and your kill, your death will actually be canon and you'll freaking come back to life because you're a crazy spirit creature, but they'll get promoted for killing you and then they'll be like, I killed you once and I'll kill you again and stuff like that. And so you, I think you could even pit them against each other and have like straight on like orc versus orc warfare. Let's, let's read this. There are, these are the captains of Sauron's army. They appear as shadows because you don't know, know, you don't yet know their identity. By interrogating enemies, you can uncover valuable information about these captains. Press X to learn the identity of this captain. It's Gearmoob the, sla the Slaver, the guy that we just found out had a slave sold to him that might know something about the Black Hand of Sauron. So, you have learned that Gearmoob's, you have learned Gearmoob's identity. This will help you to hunt, him, hunt him down. His title, the Slayer, Slaver, sorry, I keep saying Slayer. It almost looks like Slayer. Gives you clues about his role in Yurok's society. What, that, he's, that, he has, that he sells slaves? I figured it out, detective work. <laughs> X to continue. So he's got a, he's a veteran captain with a power of five. You have also learned his power rating. This gives you an indication of how difficult he will be to, to defeat. The power rating also determines your rewards for defeating him. Rewards include runes to upgrade your weapons, increasing your own power to unlock new ability tiers. Target is located at main mission. Okay, that's a weird location called main mission. <laughs> the map and objectives show you where this captain can be rescued. I mean, located. What is my brain doing today? I'm saying the wrong things. Okay. Motive. He's hoping a slave tries to escape soon, waiting to make an example. Okay. That's creepy. Yeah, I'll hit X to mark my target. I've got literally no other choices. That is where we have to go. If one can trust an orc... Trust has nothing to do with it. His thoughts cannot lie. It would appear that we can read the memories and the thoughts of orcs, which is pretty crazy. Alright, so gold icons advance the story. Red icons display the power struggles where Uruks comp compete for status. Uh, the reward is more power for, power for ability tiers, the sh and white shields represent side missions and collectibles. I don't know how much collectible, collectible getting I'll be doing on screen, but I'll probably do a lot of the power struggle stuff, because that seems to be a central focus of this game. There's two available main missions. The Slaver. Save the humans trapped within Mordor and find the Black Captains. And then there's the Spirit of Mordor. Learn more about Uruk society and take down Sauron's army from within. Okay. Those are both a little vague, but I'll go for the slaver because we just established that important storyline. Hey, a trophy! I like trophies. Trophies are basically the best thing. Nothing makes sense. Nothing has changed. This is how it will be. The future and the past are linked in darkness. I don't understand why I'm here. And I can't remember. Let's go find the slaver. He's mine. Oh, well. That's an awkward time for a pop-up, although I am, I, I guess I, I went sprinting into a combat while people are kind of trying to talk to each other. Alright, so yellow indicates that people are investigating into a disturbance, it's the caution symbol basically, red means that they're going to attack you. 
Hold right trigger to sneak, and reducing uh, noise. Okay, that makes sense. I kind of just wanted to beat up some fools, though. So, hey, guys. You can't take me. I'm undefeatable, maybe. Let's find out how defeatable I am. I'm probably about to get defeated. There's a lot of orcs here. Don't mind. Although, I've, been, I've played a lot of Arkham and Assassin's Creed. So the basic counter system, especially when it has a giant overhead prompt, might not be able to defeat me. I might have this. I could be going for ex executions right now, but there's just so many of them that I'm trying to deal with the fact that there's so many of them in the first place. Do you have to execute people? You might actually have to execute people. Oop, don't you dare. I'm trying to execute your friend, buddy. Okay, that guy died on his own. So you, in fact, do not have to execute everybody. Which is good, because I, I was starting to get concerned about the idea that, like, what if you have to execute them? Because if I'm fighting, like, 12 people, I'll never have a chance to execute, so they'll just keep getting back up, and that'd be a serious problem. What's going on here? Don't you try running now. Me and my Gurkhas will scour all of Mordor to find you. Oh. Well, he's new. Oh, Jesus. Well, he's got to be executed, right? No! Get down! Sit your ass down! I can't have you find knowing about me. You're an important, dangerous person. How about, how about if I blast you with magic? Will you fall over then? Fall on your ass, damn it! I'm slashing the crap out of you. Oh, damn it! I missed my opportunity to, to execute him. He does not stay down for very long. He must—he he really is a difficult opponent, I guess. Unfortunately for him, I have magic! That's actually really fun to do, by the way. Get away from me! Ah, uh, you, you distracted me when I was trying to deal with the fact that your guy was ready to get killed. Hate of pain? Does he hate pain? Because, I mean, that's not very unique to him, I don't think. Oh, God. Okay, he's getting violent. I may have wandered directly into a conflict that might be not what I, the game wanted me to do this early on. I was probably supposed to be a little smarter about this and sneak through everything. But here I am, immediately in some sort of boss fight. He is just going to block indefinitely, isn't he? Well, fine. Enjoy my magic. Nope. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt my combo. Shame on you. You're being very impolite, unimportant orc. Camera's getting a little close, making it a little hard to see what's going on. I'm not super concerned about all the people that aren't the boss. Oh god, is this a new boss? Look at you, maggot. You can barely stand straight. Okay, I might be getting too much attention here. So I'm starting to think that I'm about to get slaughtered by all these unique enemies that are showing up. Although if I killed some of them, that would sure screw up the power struggle, wouldn't it? Get hey, don't you taunt me. I'll smack you with a sword. Yep. That was a bad time to try to hit magic. Shame on you. Get out of here. Please fall over soon. I like that there's one coming up behind me. Hoo-hoo, don't you dare. This is fun. It's very it's very satisfyingly graceful when you're like jumping around on top of people and stuff. If you can't stop me, I'm magic. Seriously though, I would like I would like to stop this guy at some point. Nope. Oh, grab him! No, I fucked up. Well, this half an hour fought brought to you, fight brought to you by the Shadows of Mordor. <laughs> I'm not making a lot of progress here. Let's kill this extra dude. Cause I, can t I know I can deal with him. Ow! Uh oh, am I dying? You're not worth the nicks you put in my blade. We might have just gotten a very harsh lesson, huh? Am I dead? I'm not dead. Ow, dick! Run! You! You! You look ready to fall on your knees before I even lay hands on you! Okay, this just became a problem now. Now there's three of them. I'm, a, I'm gonna try to leave now. <laughs> I may have embarrassed myself a bit right off the bat with the way I played this game. Can I hide in this? That's, I'm clearly still in line of sight, so no, that's not an option. Let's find something to, to climb on to see if I can get out of... Okay, there's guys over there. Let's not run into them. Can I climb up walls? Not really. Okay. I need, I need shorter walls to try to climb up. There we go. It's much more climbable. Oh god, they're throwing stuff at me. Right, sneak with the right trigger. Can anyone see me? Can anyone see me? Are they coming for me? They're investigating. They're. I think he's about to investigate exactly where I am. Okay. Like a stupid claw. A wraith outline displays my last known location. Where's my last known location? I don't think my last known location is necessarily on screen. Let's see if I can assassinate him! No! Okay, did I get him? Okay, I didn't get him. Shit. Please fall over. Please fall over. Please fall over. Please fall over. I'm gonna shoot you with Matt. Oh, grab him! Grab! Grab! Why did I not... Oh, I just realized I'm pressing the wrong button to grab people, aren't I? God damn it, I screwed up bad. That's my bad. 
Okay, this guy's chasing me too much. Let's see if I can finish him the freak off, because he is definitely not doing well. Ow! Dick, I was trying to kill your friend. You're probably not friends. That's probably not accurate. Oh, God. Okay. Use the left stick to move your cursor into the circle. Then press the displayed button to counteract. Okay. I'm a little afraid that I'm gonna miss... I'm not gonna learn this fast enough. Uh, fuck you! Oh my god, I, st I impaled him. <laughs> Where was that attack every time I've done anything else up to this point? Please fall over, dude. Just need you to fall over! God damn it. This is not working out for me so far. Please die. Please just die, you stupid boss. Yeah! There goes the quartermaster. He's the guy that j most recently found me, isn't he? So the, the first two guys I couldn't kill, that guy I slaughtered just now. Is that a thing I can pick up? Or is it just a symbol that like someone important died there? Ow! Hey, buddy. You need to ch- yeah. No! Did I just get killed by a normal dude? What would your friends say if they could see you now? <laughs> well, he just got a name for killing me, didn't he? Alright, so... I may have blundered my way into a death there, but... At least we got a nice look at the, uh... We got a nice look at this... Crazy system here. So the guy that killed me became a captain, but I also killed someone, so he was removed from this system somewhere. Uruks that kill you can challenge captains for their position in Sauron's army. If they win, they will be promoted and grow in power. Oh, that's a guy I fought that I didn't kill. I wonder, is there evidence of the guy I did kill? Groom the Slayer, Torch the Judge, Ratbag the Coward. Ardush the Maneater is the guy that killed me, and then back here is Gara the Proud. Unfortunately, I don't see evidence of the guy I killed, so I don't see any inform information about that. It may have just not shown up here anymore at that some point, but here's my first death, I suppose. What's all these towers of silver? They are lights to guide us in the land of shadow, where all other lights may fail. Pale reflections of the light of the two trees, and memories of a lost kingdom. Someone, someone will probably be mad at me for dying that quickly in the game, but I think it was it was kind of a nice opportunity to see this crazy, crazy uh, nemesis system. Now let's take a look at the upgrades, because I unlocked something. Earn experience to gain ability points to unlock powerful new abilities. Play power struggles to earn power more quickly and unlock ability tiers. Okay. So, uh, let's see. When So, execution. When your hit streak is charged, press triangle to, and plus circle to execute your target. That is definitely something I could like to use. An opportunity to execute someone without awkwardly trying to grab them when they're stunned off the ground. And it's charged every time you do eight consecutive hits in a hit streak. Okay. I like that idea very much. Impact. Counter to enemies. Tri triangle. Will be knocked backwards, stunned, and knocked down. That's also very good. Having people that I counter get stunned in some way. Aerial takedowns. Okay. That's a, good, that's a decent idea, but less useful in the immediate problem, so I think I could bring that up later. Press X when mantling over objects to gain a temporary speed boost. Okay. It's like a better running, basically. Shoot fires or barrels to cause them to explode. Okay. Wraith Sun. Press circle to fo follow Thorius. Okay, that's the, that's the thing I already have. I stun people's circle and I slash the crap out of them. Ride Karagors. I can mount Karagors from above. Oh, there, that's what that is, apparently. It's a crazy hellhound creature. I'm gonna go for the execution ability, first off. Yes, I will spend an ability point to unlock this crazy execution ability. So triangle and circle to execute my target when I get a nice uh, spree going on. Next ability point and 550 experience points. What about attributes? Oh god, there are certainly attributes in this game. Mirian is the cur is the currency to upgrade your weapons and increase your maximum health, focus, and elf shot. I totally thought Mirian was a character, but it's apparently a currency. Earn Mirian by finding collectibles, including side missions, challenges, and bonus objectives. So everything costs at least 100, it looks like. So I, my 25 is not going to help me there. Then progression is just complete. Oh, this is just completionist information. Okay. So here we have. You can get more health. There's a whole column of health. Better elf shot. More focus. More sword rune sh slots. Bow rune slots. And dagger rune slots. Okay, so three weapon upgrades. And then focus, health, and elf shot. Pretty straightforward. 
definitely have has upgrades with an ex that go to an extent where it's almost an, a straight up uh it, this, this actually all borders on being like a st almost a straight up RPG. So let's go ahead and continue. Here we go. Okay, that was a little that was a little too Assassin's Creedy. <laughs> So this time, we're going to go towards our objective again to find Gimup the Slayer. But we're going to do it carefully this time. So we have two guys over here. I don't want to meet them, so we're going to take a look down here. There's no one. No one. Okay. Try taking the side path instead of running into those guys. More guys down there, but I can go behind them at some, if they just go around somewhere. Anyone else down here? Nope. All right, I'm going to come down here. We're just going to be very careful about these guys that are very much in my way right now. Okay, I'm going to get into this bush before they turn around. Don't mind me. They're going to keep walking for a while. Let's see. Is he a slave of any kind? There's one in the middle and he had an icon over his head, and I'm not sure what the icon meant. But for now, I'm just going to avoid anyone that's not my objective. I'm going to head that way as fast as possible without getting too much unwanted attention. Anything up here? There is not. This is definitely... Definitely an Assassin's Creed style stealth game. Got some bickering orcs. It's funny, people keep, keep comparing this game to Batman Arkham City constantly. And I don't quite get the comparison, because you don't... I'm not jump. Uh, I don't see myself jumping on statues every three seconds to go climbing around, so like, this is so Assassin's Creed that I don't understand where other comparisons come from, but let's see if I can take care of this guy. Don't mind me, I'm just quietly dispatching some works for free experience. Sneak around. Things are going A-okay, I'm not getting myself murdered yet. I like that other people are making Assassin's Creed style games, because I've been playing the Assassin's Creed series pretty much front to back, but... Between Revelations and 3, I pretty much hit a brick wall where it's like, everything is so tedious and not very fun that it'd be cool to see someone else try to do their own interpretation of that sort of game. And that's clearly what's going on here. This is definitely... yeah. So you can restore health using these plants. Interesting. Be very careful around here. Anything around here? Is the slaver nearby? So we're in the Black Gate. We have zero out of one somethings and zero out of three something else's. <laughs> I'm sure it's all just like mission completionism. There's like there's three side quests and one main mission here. Anything up here? So this is definitely gonna be a somewhat at least at times this is probably be a somewhat slow paced series. Because clearly there's not there's a there's it's necessary to have some focus on stealth. Let's just be very careful here. Alright, let's start this mission. Is that the slaver right there? No, that's just where I happen to be looking. Okay. That, I mean, that's the slaver on the right. I mean, on the left, there's a figure. But anyway, the slaver, an Uruk slaver, holds a captive with information on the black captains. Hunt down the slaver, rescue the captive, and find out what he knows. Except. Ryan! This doesn't bode well. Don't you see? The prisoner created a distraction. Why use your human side to track the Uruk? I see more than any mortal. Return. You reckon you'll be upset if we eat a few for ourselves? Slay the Orc Captain. Cut off the head of the snake, and the body will wither. Archers, I must take out the eyes of the camp. Okay, so our goal is to kill that guy over there. But we're outnumbered, and we've already learned how badly being outnumbered can work out for you. It means a new powerful orc gets elected into the system. So we're gonna have to try to very carefully go sneaking around and take some fools out before I get everyone's attention. Wow! What a jump height, right? That was imp that was incredible. Let's be very careful not to attract him before I want to. Oh, there's another guy over there. 
So I, I don't want to come out, so let's try to attract him. I don't like the sound of that. We use this attract mechanic to get him. Well, hopefully won't be without the other archer noticing that I'm here. Oh no, where did I go? It's spooky. Die. Oh, get out of line of sight. Okay, that guy's ready to investigate too now. It's because I've, I've been noticed. Is anyone coming after me though? No, it looks like the archer over there sort of lost interest in me, so that's good. Where's the other archers? There's, there's, looks like there's two on top of that building over there. And I don't see anything else around. Uh, no, no one seems to be up on top of there. So we're going to have to be stealthy. Stealthy, 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 stealthy. That was not, that was not very stealthy. So I can, apparently I can increase my elf shot by using those arrows. But I don't need that right now, because I am full up. So where's the archer standing? He's around that corner. Can I go running across this while he's not looking? Don't mind me, I'm just trying to, you know, plan your murder. That's fine, right? You weren't planning on doing anything with your life, I, I hope. Getting a little stuck on that cover. Or, I already take a little bit of issue with the cover system in this game, because it looks like when you're sneaking around, it's very easy to get flat out stuck on it. Which is not what you want to have happen in any situation. Let's see if I can just... Where's the, uh... The other archer. There's one on the far right over there. And then there's one... Is there one on the left somewhere? I'm trying to find where the last one is. I think I can try to use my elf shot to wipe them out. I'm going to try to cross over. But first I want this guy to walk past. So he doesn't look straight at me. Don't mind me. Please. Okay, please walk across. There we go. He seemed to get stuck. A little, a little clunky with the movement mechanics, not as fluid as I'd want them to be. It takes a little too much work sometimes to get your character to go and actually walk across various forms of platforms. Oh. Don't mind me, I'm just ruining your day. Okay, I got him. So does that mean... Does that count as a, as a stealth kill? I don't see anyone running this way yet, so I think that might have actually worked as a stealth kill. So let's see if I can take out the other guy while he's not looking. Don't mind me. Just ruining your day. I said that already. Alright, we're A-OK. -okay. That's all four archers taken out. And that's the number one form of incoming problem I think we had. So now it's just a matter of when I want to attack this guy. Let's see if I can get him when he's not right next to an orc. I might be able to straight up assassinate him, although unlikely. I tried to assassinate one of these guys earlier, and it seemed like it was relatively hard to get him. And it looks like the, I think the, uh, the the orc leaders seem to be prone to detecting you when you attack them and countering attack, counterattacking you. Wait, are, wait, are those slaves? Oh, there's less there's less threats here than I thought there were. Those guys are human slaves, so they're not super likely to attack me. Let's go, let's go to a knockdown! Yes! And then we murder! Oh god, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work! Turns out these guys are a little hard. Hi, slaver. I thought I could get you unawares, but I guess not. So let's try stunning the crap out of you. Stun! I, my good looks are so stunning, aren't they? Is that why you're stunned? <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Yep. You don't get to stab me in the back. I'm, I'm a named hero. You don't get to stab me in the back. Oh, get out. Get out here. Execution time, right? There we go. That's a nice triangle circle execution that I unlocked. Already useful. But, no, you don't. Okay, we're getting overwhelmed here. This is not ideal. I probably should have been... There's probably a better way to handle the situation that I did not do. But hey, you know what? We just started playing this game literally minute... Okay, camera. Don't get stuck in the rafters like that. I'm relying on you so much right now to not get stuck in the rafters like that. There we go. Execute him! Yes! Oh god, it didn't work. How is he alive? Stop it! <laughs> wow, this is like Fellowship of the Ring all over again with that one orc that got stabbed to the gut and he's like, Bitch, you can stab me all you want, I'm not going down. What I'm saying is that orcs are bullshit. And this guy's dead. That's satisfying. That, that, uh, that, that execution I unlocked whenever my combo gets high enough is very satisfying. Oh. I accidentally tried to execute instead of counter. It's not an ideal way of handling that situation. Good. No, you don't. Just let me deal with your commander. I don't need to deal with your, your vulture right now. Oh, wow, he's screwed. Is he dead yet? I think he's dead now. Oh, he's very dead. 
Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Is everyone dead? All right, slaves. Yeah, you should probably run. Oh no! You press R1 to pick those up? Crap, that means when I killed that guy earlier, his upgrade just left, was left on the ground. I probably never got it. All right, fell voices, epic. Recover all focus and all health for killing a captain or war chief. Press right to equip. Sure, why not? I don't, even, I don't have any other runes right now, right? Select your weapon with L2 and R2. Press X to view your, view your rune. Equip runes to an available slot with X. You can upgrade weapons with an additional rune slots by spending Murian. Press X to continue. So yeah, let's equip this rune. Okay, yeah, wow, they have multiple levels. This is a very complicated progression system, apparently. Hopefully the game is uh, has enough depth and interesting stuff going on to warrant how complicated it's getting. The power of a captain determines the level of the rune he drops. Killing a captain using his vulnerability will guarantee, will guarantee the type of rune he drops. Stealth is dagger, ranged as bow, combat is sword. Alright, well I don't have any other stats to pick from. I need more Mirian to unlock these, so... We'll pick Fell Voices. There we go. That is currently equipped, correct? I think it's equipped. Yeah, okay, it's listed as being equipped because other weapons have it listed as empty. So alrighty then, we just straight up killed a member of Sauron's army. So he should be- yep, there he is. When captains are killed, an open position is created in Sauron's army. New captains can move in to fulfill this position as time passes. Well, I better not let time pass then. Wait, I, what do you mean I can't control time? Shit. <laughs> so that guy's dead? And hopefully we can eventually move further down this area. Who's Gar the Proud? That might have been one of the guys I dealt with that probably kept, helped kill my family. Or maybe it's just one of the guys I encountered- Oh, no. That's one of the guys I encountered earlier. And he just survived in, an, in a fight, so now I know who he is. There are quite a few guys in, out here. Alright, let's see if it gives me a new mission to start once I leave this menu. So you didn't die ten years ago. I take it you did not come here to arrest me for treason, Captain? You and I are all that remains of that garrison, Hugo. Then why did you come here? I'm looking for a slave that fought the Black Hand of Sauron. <laughs> More like ran away from him. You know this man? Of course. You're staring at him. Where are the servants of the Dark Lord? Do you even know? Perhaps. This is no time to keep secrets. I have been stuck here for weeks. Steady. Come to the outcast camp. We shall ask my scouts. I'll be there. Success! 600 experience, plus 50 for bonus objective, which I did not... I did not read... The, wait, maybe the bonus objective was killing those four archers. Okay. Ability point gained. I already get to spend another one. Okay. Go ahead and spend another uh, upgrade. We also have a bunch of appendices, which I assume are just more lore. Alright, so if I'm gonna use an upgrade, it's definitely gonna be impact. If I'm making my counterattacks more effective... Duh. It, I'd be silly to buy anything else, I think. Although, maybe that's just me. Only 75 Miriam, so I still can't afford- oh wait! I can afford to get more rune slots. But I currently don't have more runes to put in those slots, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on buying any for now. Until I can make a smarter decision later. Two out of 20 main missions complete. This might be a very short game. Although it looks like there's a lot of other stuff to do. Definitely a lot of stuff- a lot, a lot of other stuff to do. Let's see what appendices include. The Outcasts of Udin. Udun, sorry. I'm, what, why do I care? I'm, I'm gonna mispronounce most of the stuff in this game anyway. Someone who read the Salmarillion, Salmarillion, Silmarillion? The, the one that's not the Hobbit or Lord of the Rings will probably be very angry with my pronunciation. <laughs> the outcasts are descendants of escaped Gondorian prisoners. Their forefathers built the towers of the teeth 
on the Black Gate many, many centuries ago. Their escape into Udin, Udun, sorry, allowed them to create new lives for themselves. Even if the land was harsh and unforgiving, they were free. Now Sauron and the Uruks have returned and there is no freedom to be found within the land of shadow. You can zoom in a bit and pan around. Yep. Left and right do the ex do not work the way you'd expect them to, but okay. It's just a picture of some humans fighting some orcs. So I assume those are the slaves, which I may have just saved some of. And it looks like there's a potentially excessive amount of lore here that I don't think I'm going to read through all of. But it's definitely here. See, so Rangers of the Black Gate, not... Let's see, what, is there anything specifically interesting to what we're talking about here? Let's see, Tower of Sauron, oh, Black Hand of Sauron. So that's our specific goal, so I might as well read what that is. The Black Hand of Sauron. The Black Hand is the greatest and most feared of the Black Captains. His mere presence on the battlefield spreads terror amongst his foes and servants alike. Some say he was once a great king from the east who brought Sauron the heads of two Istari as gifts. Others say he returned across the seas when Sauron... with Sauron after the fall of Numenor. Still others claim that he is the Dark Lord himself, once again taking fair, taking fair form within Mordor. There are many stories of his origins. All of them are lies. The only things which are certain are that he is the master of deceit, and that he serves his Dark Lord with absolute loyalty. And thus he is the Dark Lord. Oh. A lot of- that's that- so that's the- that's the one relatively new thing. A lot of this other stuff is like, what, the Tower of Sauron? Like, that was- we, we know what this kind of stuff is already, right? From the- from the movies. Definitely don't- definitely don't need to cover everything, but that was the first- That was definitely the first big mission of this game. And I think we'll continue on in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. An interested party is now available. I'll have to figure out what that is later. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully we'll kill all of these guys sooner or later.